That wasn't the way you should be folding that. <laughs> How do we fit 20 shoes under the oven? You're not gonna believe this, but Drew has more sh There are definitely some things in here that need to go. Have you been hearing the woodpecker in the background? Yeah, I keep hearing him. He's like, it's a labor of love, isn't it? You're going the extra mile. <laughs> the extra fold and tuck. We are Brittany and Drew, and for the past six years, we've been exploring the world by van. From the US to Canada, Europe to Africa, finding so much peace, inspiration, and joy in immersing ourselves in the great unknown. But now, with our world changing what feels like every single day, we're finding it important not only to share the beauty of our lifestyle with you, but also insight into how we both fit our entire lives and wardrobes into our tiny house on wheels in hopes that it might help and inspire you to believe that maybe it's not so hard to minimize the clutter and maximize the adventure after all. We invite you to subscribe and buckle up as we embark on yet another adventure together. Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. And now it's time to enjoy the show. Today's episode finds us tucked away in another lush corner of Washington State where we await the start of our next grand adventure and where we prepare to share with you a peek into a part of our lives that hardly anyone else has ever seen. Our closets. Look what I found. What do you find? Ooh, I used to love these as a little kid. Me too. <laughs> Good job picking up the trash. It's not only leave no trace, but leave places even more beautiful than how you found them, if that is even possible when you're in places like this. <sighs> but what do you say if we share with you guys what we have for clothes in this rolling home of ours? How we figured out what kind of a wardrobe to have so that it can cover all seasons and fit into a very limited amount of space. So we're always styling <laughs> on our adventures. in my three cabinet closet. Let's dig in and see what's inside. <laughs> cabinet number one is probably my most frequently accessed cabinet. I have my PJs up here for easy access and safe holding. I also have like socks that I wear around the house that don't really get too dirty because they don't go outside. And I have a little lingerie bag where I keep all of my undies and my packing cubes. These are one of the secrets to my success for life on the road. The secret sauce? The secret sauce, yes. Before we reveal too much about the secret sauce, we want to tell you about the awesome sponsor of today's episode, Backcountry. Because when it comes to choosing the best of the best, to finding our seasonal faves, Backcountry carries an incredible variety of outdoor brands and products, while also offering 24-7 support from their adventure-loving gearheads. Since 2008, Backcountry has partnered with the Nature Conservancy to support its mission of protecting the lands and waters on which all life depends. And together, we encourage you to get outside and find your backcountry wherever that may be, because with the right gear, everyone is capable of enjoying the great outdoors, whether you're in the city or the mountains, you can get outside wherever you are. Use our code ADVENTURE15 to enjoy 15% off your first purchase at backcountry.com. We got there. Crazy centipede thing. Oh, look at him go. He's got a few more feet than I do. 
And if you're interested, they do have a plethora of packing cubes available so you can organize your wardrobe all nice and snug too. So this one in particular has all of my dresses and I guess nicer clothes. I try to organize them by theme. So here we have one, <laughs> nine, ten dresses in this one cube, which is pretty amazing and I love them. <laughs> So many clothes we can hardly see you back there. <laughs> These are my four clothing cubes. So like you saw, my dresses are in one. Here I have all of my gym and yoga clothes. Over here I have my long sleeve shirts. And over here I have my t-shirts. I wonder how many t-shirts I actually have. Shall we count them? How many do you think? 14. 19 shirts. My number one tip for fitting as much as possible into these packing cubes is rolling your clothes as small as possible so that you can really kind of wedge them in there. Luckily my shirts are pretty small so I can already kind of fit a lot. I think these three shirts would equal one of my shirts. If you think about it, the entire length of our van is a closet. So we basically have a walk-in closet. <laughs> think of it like having a mega backpack or a turtle shell that all your items go wherever you go because your home is rolling and it's awesome. It is awesome. I love our rolling closet with a kitchen, bed, shower, futon, <laughs> oven. It's like a really dope closet if you think of it that way. This is a lot of work, you guys. We love you and really care about sharing this information with you if we're willing to Unpack unfold. Unpack all of these clothes. And then repack them. <laughs> Hopefully it's helping give you guys some insight, you know? I don't think that Drew and I are like extreme minimalists by any measure, but we have what we need with enough variety that we don't feel stale and like we're wearing the same clothes all the time. Is this like a game show? Yeah. Door number two. Can we guess what's behind door number two? My pants. All of the bottoms that I have along with my Buddha pants collection. So I do love my Buddha pants and I have one, two, three, four, five Buddha pants. Van wife pajama pro tip. You're gonna want a tank top short combo for when you're driving or riding shotgun in your pajamas in case you make any unannounced stops and you don't want to be in your nighty. Important to have at least one of these so you can feel pretty in the middle of the forest because that is a treat. And also a warm pair of PJs, which I find particularly useful because when it's like a little bit nippy out, I can wear my button down like a little pajama jacket. So I have found that to be like the winning trio. Oh, I didn't really fold that one, but don't if, tell if it was mine, I'd just kind of go like this and here and <laughs> There are definitely some things in here that need to go like this. <laughs> You've been wearing that for many, many years. It's a very sad, but well-loved visor. Look at that. That thing's just wasted. I got that in Washington, DC. How many miles do you think you've ran in that? That's a really good question. Hundreds? All over the world? I mean, like, this maybe is... A thousand, maybe a thousand miles? Probably. If you include hiking. Like, what? literally, can this even be donated? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> maybe we should wash it for them first. You look like you're gonna have a hard time parting with it. I can imagine all the memories going through mine. I know. Out with the old and in with the new. We have a rule. Every time we get something new, we have to get rid of something old. So if these are coming in, which they are, and I'm super stoked, something's got to go. These have been looking a little bit rough. We'll add these to the donation box. And stick around till the end of the episode because we're taking you with us to, to do something these. good with these. Yep. I have a total of 10 pairs of shoes. When I was in high school, I had like over 30 pairs of shoes. And if you had told me who my mom used to call Imelda Marcos, who was like famous for having crazy amounts of shoes, that I would one day have 10 pairs of shoes, I don't think I would have believed you. And they're very useful sets of shoes for adventures, for keeping warm, 
for running. And you remember these from date night. Have my essential hiking boots, my city walking shoes, which are looking a little rough as they've been crammed in the back because we are not exploring cities these days. I think we need to get some polish for those. <laughs> yeah. I also have my fancy shoes for, say, a wedding. I can't wait to see you wearing those again. Me too. Flats, shower shoes, and then my Birkenstocks, which I like to wear with my socks. I would say these are your go-to these days. They are. And that's it. Your turn. You're not gonna believe this, but Drew has more shoes than I do. This is Drew's sea of shoes. These things are so cool. I love these shoes. They're made of camel's skin and we got them in Tafraut. They're the traditional Moroccan shoe. These are my Toms, which I absolutely love. They're great for going out, night on the town. These are my old flip-flops that I lost one <laughs> out the door of the van on the driver's side. The other one, they just fell apart and these have to go. These are my city street shoes, hiking shoes going through water. These are my old hiking boots that I'm waiting to get rid of after I finish getting these totally broken in. These are my favorite running shoes slash adventure shoes, but they are slick as a baby's bottom and have no more grip. These gotta go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And my nicer flip-flops, my thongs. I think we're gonna have to go like sardines. A little behind the scenes look of how we put the GoPro in the shoe cubby and then make it look like we're looking at it and the door closes. It's all about the artistic frame. <laughs> shoes are in. They're all in there. How do we fit 20 shoes under the oven? <laughs> now that we got that step out of the way, get it? Step, boom, boom, back to my third cabinet, which has most of my winter slash cold weather gear. We got hoodie number one, a pair of overalls. Can you go to roll for us? <laughs> Do it a little quicker, a little more pizzazz. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you make me feel like dancing. I'm gonna dance the night away. I bought these at a consignment shop on my like 27th birthday. Are you holding it out like we can jump in there? <laughs> I can jump in my couch. I don't know, sometimes they go for the one armed sling. Mm. I'm all about the one arm sling. Helps me not look like I'm 12. Cut. <laughs> Sweatpants, a little down vest. I also have a nicer jacket that I keep in, I think this was like a sheet case or something, you know? Another sweater. This probably isn't the most organized of my closets, but when it comes to like bulky clothing, I'm pretty happy with my setup. It is important to have enough clothes that we don't feel like we're constantly having to do laundry. So we try to wait about every three to four weeks before we do laundry. Can you make it up the hill? <laughs> with that being said, one item of clothing that we have a lot of, or I guess two items of clothing that we have a lot of to get us through that laundry cycle are one, underwear and two socks which brings us to our sock cubbies drew and i both have a little cubby where we jam in as many socks as we possibly can because whether we're running or hiking or biking we are active basically it's never more than three days between us being like sweaty oh i forgot in here i also have my bathing suits I have one that's really convenient for when I'm showering out the back of the van and others for more public appearances. I also like to mix match my bottom so it's like I have two bathing suits. Oh, one more, which pairs well with my blue bottoms. <laughs> and the rest in here are socks, whether they're smart wool hiking socks, cozy at home fancy socks, or some raggedy running peds. 
And as promised, this is Drew's sock cubby. Ooh, my banana socks. <laughs> These are perfect for lounging in the van. Before we move on to Drew's tips, I wanted to share with you all my hat collection. Because when you're Mrs. Adventure, you end up spending a lot of time in the outdoors or just living in a van in general. Your backyard, front yard is outside. Also your bathroom sometimes. <laughs> but it's very important to protect your skin, especially the sensitive skin on your face from damage from the sun. So here we have a daytime hat. I also have an adventure visor, a nicer times visor, two beanies to help me keep warm, one with a fuzzy and one without because it fits under the hood of my down jacket much easier. Here we have my down jacket in a very handy compressed bag, which is a huge tip. We should all have down jackets in our camper vans because you just never know when you're gonna end up somewhere cold, chilly, at a bonfire and you wanna cozy up in your down jacket and it just fits so much better in here. Also, a little rain jacket that can fit easily in your hiking pack because you just never know when the weather's gonna change on you. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. So what is your conclusion? So I have 24 t-shirts, four nicer button down, going out to eat type of shirts, eight tank tops that are great for sweating, seven pairs of board shorts, and then I have another 10 pair of shorts that I can wear for hiking, casual, just kind of all the chill things. Two sweatpants, three pairs of jeans, for long sleeve shirts, I have, I think it's seven here. And then when we get to hoodies and jackets like that, I have four. Look how empty all these cubbies are. Which brings us to an important point. You are only gonna be able to bring so much in your van based on the size of your cubbies, the space that you have available to bring those items. Just like if you want on a trip, how big is your bag? Which also brings up the point of weather. Depending on where you're at, and the temperatures, the seasons, we pretty much wish it was an endless summer year round, which means it's about 75 degrees to 55 degrees. And so we don't carry much winter gear because we're not doing winter van life in cold destinations. Tristor. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm like ready for a hoodie and it's not even that cold out, which is why we don't really seek out the winters. But it's really fun with all of your clothes around. I feel like there's these giant pillows. We should get a pillow. <laughs> a Drew clothing pillow? There's a lot of clothes around. <laughs> this is hilarious. I think that's about it. And I hope that our wisdom and just the reality of our home and our wardrobe has shed some light on an aspect of van life that maybe you don't see too often. You know, it's you don't open up your closet doors for anybody. Like my mom's got no idea what's in my closet. Nobody knows. So that was kind of interesting for us anyway. It's a new day. In the neighborhood. And you know what that means? We got places to go. And things to donate. Things to get rid of out of our van that we selected to free up some space and give it to a good cause. Let's go see Will, the good man. Will. Good, <laughs> good Will. Will. Who's this Will they tell us about? <laughs> he must be good. Also, remember our little plant here? He's suffered a couple tumbles, but he's looking okay. <laughs> Trying to give him some more sunlight. Yeah. He used to try out a little bit. Get a good shot? I hope so. Love to see how it came out. Because it is all about the pizza. That's going to be a fun one. Pizza! <laughs> pizza. Post office. Post office run. Time to drop off some postcards for our patrons. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a platform that allows you guys to support creators like us and donate a couple dollars per month or per episode that 
goes a long way in helping us maintain, live on the road, and keep creating these awesome videos and content that you guys are finding valuable and sharing with others. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you over on Patreon. You're back from the post office. I'm back. And you sent a lot of great postcards out to our patrons. I did. Oh, I and I got it. some stamps so we can just drop them next time. But we got some global stamps and some forever stamps. We know you guys are supporting us and sharing love from all over the world. We love you guys and we really, really appreciate you. Good old Will. That wraps things up here in the Goodwill parking lot. Feels good to kind of shed some layers in our van, declutter, make some more space, and give it to a good cause. It does. And now Spirit's going to be rolling up and over yonder a little bit lighter and a little bit happier. Absolutely. And be sure to tap that like if you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit yeah. different from the adventures that we love sharing with you all, but we think it's important to share a bit more of our home with you. Yeah, and by clicking the like button, it helps our videos rank and get recommended for more people to check out. So it really means the world to us. It does. And if you haven't subscribed already, we invite you to go ahead and do so the more the merrier and tap that bell because next week this van is going to be sailing on a ship that's right and i'm so excited to get on it. the water we are gonna put <laughs> our home on a boat crazy that sounds crazy crazy we'll see you guys next adventure thursday we will we can't wait we love you all stay safe be well do something good for others and, and just share your kindness bye bye